All right, I am one for letting things go when they need to be let go, but I don't think that is today. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna try and explain again why this whole like reciprocal fraction thing works. So I'm going to put this into sort of simple terms. Here's a candy bar. I'm gonna move on from pizza. So there's my beautiful candy bar. You can call it whatever you want. I'm just gonna divide it into three somewhat equal parts. Try that right there. Okay, so there is my candy bar split into three equal parts. Now, if I said for you to solve the following, I want you to take two thirds and divide it into six. What exactly does that mean? All right, so this is where a drawing probably can help. Two thirds divided by six. Well, here's my candy bar, and it's saying two thirds of the candy bar split into six, divided by six. So here's my two thirds. I'm just going to highlight this part in green. Okay, so this is my two thirds of my candy bar. Now it's saying divide that into six parts. Okay, one, two, three. Oops. So that's one, two, three. One, two, three. So I could even put little numbers. Three, four, five, six. All right, so you have just, if you did this, you have just sort of solved this problem with a drawing. You have taken two thirds of the candy bar and you have divided it into six parts. So the question is, how much of the candy bar is one of those six parts. So take two thirds of the candy bar, divide it into six parts. What is one of these parts? Well, you might say it's one sixth and you would be right. It is one sixth of the two thirds candy bar, but it is not one sixth of the whole candy bar. So if we did this to our two thirds, we would also have to do the same to our third third. So just like we did with our other two thirds, we divide that last third into three parts. So those would be parts seven, eight, nine. So what we have shaded in right here is one ninth of the candy bar. If we rewrite our problem to show why that works, we have two thirds times, remember we're going to use the reciprocal fraction, one sixth. And now we just do some multiplication. Two times one is two, three times six is eight. Wait a minute, that's not the same as one ninth, or is it? It is, in fact, if we take two divided by two is one, and 18 divided by two is nine. You might be prudently asking yourself, well, yeah, okay, I get the whole division thing, but why does it work that you can say two thirds times one sixth is the same as two thirds divided by six. Well, what is this problem actually saying? It's saying two thirds of a candy bar. Okay, so here's my two thirds of the candy bar, just like last time. I'm gonna sort of highlight the outside in green. So there's my two thirds of my candy bar. And it's saying, okay, of that two thirds, of this two thirds, give me a sixth. Give me a six of that candy bar. 
not of the whole candy bar, but give me a sixth of the two thirds of the candy bar. So if we just sort of forget about that, then we divide this into six equal parts. So once again, I have my parts here. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I'm sure you can sort of see where this is going. Give me a sixth of that. It's like a Kit Kat bar. So there's your sixth of the two thirds candy bar. But how much of the whole candy bar did you give? Well, I got to divide that last third into three because that's what I did with the other thirds. So seven, eight, nine. How much did you just give away? You gave away one ninth of that candy bar. So that is why it works to invert our fraction or to get the reciprocal of the fraction when we divide fractions.